Well, I interviewed uh, Wesley Muhammad from the Nation of Islam. Yes, sir. And I, I spoke to him about the Malcolm X situation. And he said that Malcolm X was in grave violation of Black God Protocol. We assess Brother Malcolm's good. We assess his errors. We try to learn from his good. And we try to learn from his errors. And see, that's Black God Protocol. Black God Protocol is the way the gods, the black gods, interact with each other. And Brother Malcolm, at a point, was in grave violation of Black God Protocol. Can you explain what that means in your words? Well, I, I, he probably could explain that better than I can. But to, of course, to say that you have pledged that my prayer, my sacrifice, my life, and my death is all for Allah God and to bear witness that there's no God but Allah and that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad is his messenger and then to come out and speak ill of and vilify the messenger of God. Uh, that within and of itself is considered to be a violation of, of, of a code. So the Honorable Elijah Muhammad wrote in his monumental and illuminating book, Our Savior Has Arrived, it's on page 145. He talks about the mind of a messenger. He said, when God chooses a messenger, he takes over his mind, his heart, and his brain. So the wheel of that messenger becomes the wheel of God, and the two's wheel become one and the same. So if you believe that, then you know that the messenger of God is not making an error or a mistake. So for him to say that, uh, Brother Wesley, I believe he's speaking to the fact that to give your word, to make a pledge, to say with your hand on your Quran, to pledge your life that this is God and this is God's man, and then to flip from that uh, uh, and go out in the public in a very foul way and go to the very enemies of not just the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad, but the very enemies of Malcolm X and all of the other ones that have fought for our freedom and, and, and used their platform to be able to vilify the man that saved your life uh, is a violation of a protocol. Well, uh, Farrakhan was asked about Malcolm X and uh, his, res his response was, did you teach Malcolm? Did you make Malcolm? Did you clean up Malcolm? Did you put Malcolm out before the world? Was Malcolm your traitor or was he ours? And if we dealt with him like a nation deals with traitors, what the hell business is it of yours? That's right. So, and, and, and what the minister is saying to the world is that any independent nation that ever existed has always had something called treason that you deal with in accord with your law. So he's saying, get out of our business and out of our affairs if we did it. I always say it a little different. I said, look, you know, we ain't no punks. If we killed him, we tell you we killed him and ask you what you're going to do about it. But the reality is we did not uh, murder Malcolm X. It was blamed on us so that it could demagnetize at the time the affinity that we had for the Nation of Islam and the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad. And it's been recycled over and over the years. Why? Because right now, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan is hands down the last man standing. There is no other uh, figure among our people that is a greater spiritual teacher that has the ability to organize mobilize and get things done like the minister. So they haven't been able to find over the 65 years that the minister has been laboring any living black or white person that they can put to contend with him. So they had to resurrect Malcolm from the grave to try to put him against the minister. But we read in the Quran that the devil plans and the law plans and the law is the best of planners. So the autobiography of Malcolm X was written with the hopes to turn people away. But the autobiography of Malcolm X has brought 
thousands of people to the nation of Islam. They're telling the world that we killed Malcolm was designed to keep people from wanting to be a part of the nation. But I can tell you this, Vlad, Malcolm X has brought more people to the nation of Islam dead than most of us that are in the nation have done alive. So it's all backfiring. And uh, we appreciate the fact that God already told us that all things work for the good for those who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. And we're trying to be that kind of group.